Welcome back to Planet Base, it's played by Sleepless Ronin. We're going to rejoin the colony, Jigoku Base, that we've been playing on the last couple of sessions. And we're going to see if we can't make it get even bigger. I think at the end of the last session I was having some water and some power problems, so this will be the first thing we're going to tackle today. Well, with that being said, let's go. Let's drop onto the planet. I think I may have solved the water problems after I turned off the game last night. So... Here's that. What I want to try to do is I want to try to see if I can't get around the bottom of this mountain right here. Instead of going up north and destroying... Well, let me show you. If I want to continue my base out this way, over here, I'm going to have to knock down a whole lot of buildings to build out through here. I mean, I, can, I, I don't have a problem doing that, I think, but it's not exactly what I want to do. That, yeah, there's three oxygen generators really close together, but, you know, we don't want, don't have any issues with that. Because, see, we've, we've dipped bad on oxygen at several points. And there we go. Another first asteroid of the game, I think. Oh, good grief. Okay. Wow, that was fast. Dang! Okay, so I was wrong in the last episode. Apparently, you can't have asteroids during sandstorms. Call me not thrilled. I've lost both of my robots, too. Good. Let's get back to normal production, guys. What the hell? What the hell is this? Where did the armor and triggers come from? Jeez, oh freaking peas. This is not what I was expecting. Come on guys, kill him, take him out. Holy crap. Like a ton of you died. What the hell was that? Where'd they come from? Did they just walk across the surface of Mars? That's just bonkers. That was... Wow, okay, um... Didn't know that could happen. Holy crap. Leave my people alone! You darn dirty intruders. Wow. That was really awful. I need one anyways. I'm just going to uh, use the robotics factory as my go around the corner thing. Really want some robots. Guess we better have something that can make some guns. Uh, didn't really want guns. It's like guns on Mars in domes. Seems like a stupid idea, but apparently not. Uh, what do you use this for, really? I wonder. Pyramid requires signpost. So I have to build a signpost if I want a pyramid. Uh, monolith requires pyramid. I don't know what those mean. The real last question is if I can get past over here. If I can't, I mean, this is all just a waste. My answer appears to be... Oh! Hey, hey, hey. So it needs metal... Doopy 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 and a semiconductor. 
I can only get a carrier bot right now. You know what? I'm fine with that. I saw that shadow. Oh! That was cool. What was that? More oxygen, eh? Ah, you know what? I should be building larger oxygen generators at some point in time. Okay. Okay, this is becoming a snake over this way, but yeah. I admit that having a biodome right here wasn't the most brilliant thing in the world. So this biodome is not going to be really as much for growing stuff as a small little forest. Just trying something. We'll see what happens off this. So I can put some tomato. I'm still gonna put some food in here. Hearing that dink again? Dink, dink, dink. Don't understand it. What were you doing? Where were you coming from? Nimrod. Oh, good God, not again. So they're beating the person to death. Wow. I think I lost one colonist that time. Let's see, everybody just sleep while the murder was going on. I have a gun later up there too. And we'll have an armory to store the gun -alators. I kind of forgot I needed one of those. I will buy a gun. Oh, it's only 45... For, it's only 40... What is this? Oh, no. I want that. What is that doink? Crap, meals are going down again. We've run out of spares is kind of like my game's uh, complaint of... Uh, I don't know what it's complaint of. We like socks. I bought four spares, and we're out of four spares. Yeah. Right there. Great. That's not going to cause a massive amount of problems. Medium impact on solar panel. Meteor impact on solar panel, not medium. Meteor. Sandstorm. Let's just watch. And another asteroid came down in the middle of a sandstorm. Everybody carry things. Ha ha. Carry, carry. Don't worry, I'm trying to build you a new housing unit.
Well, that was right there in my screen. Wait, hang on. What's going on? God damn it. Is that it? Shiza. Get this built, you morons. Because I really need... I mean, I'm really balancing again. Power and water. Power and water. Power and water. The meals are still holding it there. At a reason, relatively reasonable value. And man, look at my starches. That is my trade good. In the daytime? Oh no, that just... My power storage looks terrible. My water storage is leveled off again, though. That was right behind me. Hey! I saw my laser fire! Did you guys see that? I saw my laser fire! I had to go pew! It took it long enough to get here. You know, in real life, these things cut out during uh, truly violent storms. Look at how full that storage is. Hey, are you exercising? Really, my my landing pad just got impacted by a meteor, and the trade ship is okay. No, oh, good for him. Yeah, I know power storage is critical. Get this built, you morons! Where are you going? Seriously, where's this imbecile going? He's carrying spares to this wooden tower. Okay. I guess that is a point that I don't have an airlock in a more convenient place to access that wind turbine. Really? Jeebus, Kabibus. What was that? Did you hear that? Okay, who died of asphyxiation? Yeah, but the problem is... How many people are going to die overnight tonight? A lot more than I want to, I imagine. This is bad. 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 How are you dying of starvation? Power monger reached. I'm now generating a ton of power. So what? We still have people die. Starvation. Right on my water facility. Right on my water facility. Oh, my pain. This palpable. Not even sure why they're starving. I have food elators. Don't we? Maybe I am running low on food. I was doing really good, I thought, with food. But apparently I've mucked it up. Or maybe the meals are just scattered too far apart. Wow, all the medics are dying of food. Of food not oh man, another impact. Okay, guys, I need this biodome in a hurry. Yeah. Oh, now I've hit a starvation flux. I expanded too fast again. I very much know that. Come on, people. Build this. Oh, good God. Not as much sandstorm. Do you have metal? I'll buy metal.
Did he die in the sand? What did he die of? He just... Oh, maybe he's in the connection. I think he was in the connection when the meteorite hit. That's freaking brilliant. Fix that tunnel. Get his body out of there. And someone else just died. I heard it. You were close enough to one of these. You had no reason to die. Wow, we are culling the population right now. Why is no one tending this? Well, that landed right next to the mine. Oh, war on Cox. War on Cox. Huh. Sounds dirty. We are just watching people die left and right. I was close to that at one point in time when I had before I had lost 20 plus colonists to starvation. Good grief, it's just like cascade failures. Titan Cox has died of starvation. I uh, I'm just reading the names. Read the names. Wind's just not good. Wind is just terrible. I have a feeling that my colony may be in the death decline. Because I built out too fast and just wasn't able to compensate. It's the middle of the day, I can't get the power to stay on, I mean... I honestly don't think we can recover from this. This is the end of the colony. We, I literally pushed it to where it just exploded on me. Everything is dying and falling apart. There's no one going to want to mi uh, migrate to this colony. It can't stay up and running. The power doesn't stay on. It's just dying. 72 days. Uh, probably about 70 days before my systemic failures, bad building placement, and overexpansion have cost me everything. I, uh, I think I've learned a lot from this first playthrough, though. Definitely build up a lot more of my infrastructure early on. You know, don't expand out with too many buildings. Keep the colony counts lower. <laughs> the death sounds are funny at times. Yeah. Good night. Please hit like and subscribe. Ignore the people dying in the background. And let's see how I can see if I can improve my playstyle in the next colony. Because I know I I push this one too far, too fast, too often. And that's just not the way you have to build these colonies up. I think I've got to take a lot more slow and measured pacing. We'll find out, though. I could literally just sit here and watch as this thing collapses inwards. I mean, we're talking 20 more people have to die. Power can't stay on. Oxygen is too low. 
water's out of things. It's this colony is dead. So dead. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. It is. It is. It's so wrong and so funny at the same time. It's just dark, terrible humor. Uh, I've said it before. I've said it again. This colony's dead. We're calling it here. Thank you for watching. It's just so hard to leave when everyone just keeps dying. It's... It's... You know what? It's perfect right here. It is literally perfect to end as a sandstorm that I'm not even going to bother to turn the security on. For. It just comes through. Because nothing's going to run. Okay, folks, I'm going to shut it off right here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, just, I just had to let it run a little bit longer. Hit like and subscribe. Join me for the next adventure on how to die on a foreign planet. Stop interrupting me with your death sounds, people. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Join me next time for how to die on a, on a planet that's not meant for humans. Yay! Goodbye.